Following the remakes of Generations 1, 2, and 3 of the Pokemon franchise, remakes for Gen 4, Diamond and Pearl were inevitable, and they were announced in early 2021, off the back of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Further, they were outsourced to Ilka, a first for the main series. Reception to the announcement was mixed, at least in certain circles, but with nearly a year of development time to improve, it's time to see what kind of experience Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl can net you when compared to Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, or BDSP as I will call them for short or we will be here forever, is no different from any other Pokemon game, especially since it recreates the opening of Diamond and Pearl. You meet your obligatory professor, Professor Rowan, who allegedly studies Pokemon evolution but will have no role in the story, as you and your hyperactive buddy Barry go on two quests. The first is catching Pokemon to complete the Pokedex, something that most players won't do. The other is fighting all eight gym leaders scattered across the center region, fighting your way to become the best there ever was. Along the way, you'll find the terrorists Team Galactic run by Hikawa from Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocton. I mean, Cyrus, who wants to reshape the universe to his whims. As a remake, you'll be immediately drawn to the visual style. Unlike the previous three iterations of remakes, in which the games were graphically updated to match the then current generation, Pokemon BDSP instead recreates the style of the DS titles in 3D using chibi graphics, similarly to Link's Awakening, or the Switch remake, and it can look terrific. It can be hard to top the presentation of a nostalgic DS game with great pixel art, but coupled with some occasionally neat remixes of the route themes, BDSP can really outdo its predecessors to be the best looking Pokemon game. Well, sometimes. There's a bloom effect that blurs out the surroundings of the route that really helps make the route itself pop. Unfortunately, it often turns on and off on a whim and can be hard on the eyes. The chibi models look great when seen from above, but then the game likes to zoom in a lot and it looks awful every time. Battles look fantastic with new move animations and the backgrounds look incredibly wonderful when surfing or on beaches. I actually kept the move animations on as they're faster and the time between actions is cut down tremendously. Pokemon move sets abilities and type sets have been updated to their current standing. For example, Gardevoir is part fairy type, Shinx has Intimidate as an ability, and Chimchar has access to Power Up Punch. The quality of life improvements are welcome, such as the removal of HMs, and contest improvements are also nice. Trainers in battle look cool, but this is undercut by strange jump cuts between poses that make everyone feel lifeless. This design choice is notable for Barry, who spends his battles staying almost perfectly still, when the fact he cannot is part of his character. In addition, Gym Leader and Elite Four pre-battle transitions are a Abysmal, using flawed model renders with absolutely none of the DS title's visual flares. The underground from the original games returns as the Grand Underground, with the ability to find other users online. Still, secret base customization, traps, and capture the flag have all been dropped. While Pokemon can be found in their place, likely to spruce up the original Diamond and Pearl's blackluster Pokedex. This could have been avoided by simply altering Pokemon Platinum's decks, but they don't, because this is a too faithful recreation of Diamond and Pearl. BDSP goes back to single-use TMs, something that was dropped in the very next games. The Poketch only has one button, no care was put into the script, as Johto's bell tower became the tin tower, originally a mistranslation that was fixed. It all feels a bit soulless. It doesn't help that BDSP's additions feel half-baked too. Besides the Grand Underground, following Pokemon noticeably lag behind you like in Sword and Shield's DLC, customization is limited to outfits as your hair and eye color are permanently set, the HM application overrides your own Pokemon, forcing you to surf on a by barrel even if you have a Gyarados with the move. The permanent XP share turns everything but the Elite Four into a cakewalk, even with more difficult gyms, because you're many, many levels ahead of the curve, even when avoiding trainers and wild Pokemon. The decision to drop all Platinum content is baffling. This results in the loss of characters like Luka, scenes that flesh out Barry and other gym leaders, alterations that made the world more interesting to explore, the Distortion World, one of the most well-remembered aspects of the Sinnoh games, and the enhanced Pokedex. And because these games add nothing in return, they lack any semblance of identity. A common argument is that the remakes have never been remakes of the third game. Of course, this argument is a lie since Harkon and SoulSilver had Weezine, a Pokemon Crystal exclusive NPC, and added his Suicune Hunt into the remake. 
and whilst Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire lacked Emerald's confrontation between the three main legendary Pokemon, the Delta episode was added into the remakes to make up for the lack of Rayquaza content. The fact that those games also included Generation 6's Mega Evolution gimmick, as well as some story and route alterations to improve the experience, didn't hurt, despite the lack of Battle Frontier. Instead, here I was constantly getting slapped in the face with reminders that various scenes I was looking forward to or cool environments I was about to see didn't exist in Diamond and Pearl, but they did in Platinum. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl have definite improvements over the original Diamond and Pearl, and whilst I did have fun, I was constantly reminded I've played a better version of this game, Pokemon Platinum, and that's been around for 13 years. Noisy Pixel is giving Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl a 5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Noise Pixel Script dedicated to bring you guys the best new TV previews and more. Please stick around by ringing the bell if you haven't already and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our future content. <laughs>